At Armstrong International, the lines have been moving along so far. WGNS Kenny Lopez is watching as people try to get to their Christmas destinations. He's live in Kenner. Kenny? Hey, Kurt, the hustle and bustle of the holidays are upon us, and here at MSY, that's no exception. Now, AAA says that holiday travel is up 2% this year compared to last year. Now, looking around the airport right now, the lines are not too long, it's not too chaotic, and that is making travelers pretty happy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at MSY, with lines to get through security and travelers on a mission. And so far, so good. It's mostly smooth. This one really, really well. Flights have been on time. I have been pleasantly surprised compared to last year and all the chaos and the fiasco. Although the bar is set pretty low, especially after last Christmas when Southwest Airlines had a major meltdown, which left nearly 2 million travelers stranded and frustrated. It's definitely in God's hand because it's not it's south. It's not in Southwest's hands. It doesn't look like it. For Mickey and Jen Lyons, who are sisters visiting New Orleans from Detroit, they definitely took last year's fiasco into consideration when preparing to fly. We were really worried about it, so we got up. I would say a good half hour, 45 minutes earlier than we normally would, just to have that little bit of cushion time. And one more piece of advice: be in the Christmas spirit. We've gotten some pretty good reception to our extra headgear today. Um, everyone puts, puts in everyone in a better mood. It can be a really stressful time of year, so I just wanted to be a little more festive and, and brighten up the holiday a little bit. And nothing brightens up the holidays more than flights that are on time, shorter lines, and no delays or cancellations. Just get here early, uh, take a deep breath. I'm very relaxed, very chill, less, no stress at all, and I'm excited about spending time with my family for the holidays. Now, because of the travel nightmare last Christmas, Southwest Airlines had to pay a $140 million settlement to those stranded travelers. I happen to be one of those stranded travelers, Kurt, and get this, this Christmas, I get to fly out to New Mexico for just 11 bucks. So thanks, Southwest Airlines, but I, but I do hope everything runs smoothly for everybody this holiday season. Back right. to you. Safe travels. Thank you, Kenny. In the